What's up, peeps? My vapes here. Today I have a 21702 mod kit to show you guys. Now, this setup right here was sent to me for the purpose of this review from Eleaf. It is the iJust 21700. iJust. You guys remember the iJust? They've been around for years. I remember the first iJust that I reviewed. Then they came out with some different versions of the iJust. Bigger battery. They were always built-in batteries. If I'm not mistaken, they did make also an 18650 iJust. Not sure. Maybe somebody in the comments below could refresh my memory on that. But yes, 21700, 27700, 18650. Fires down to 0.1. Maximum output is 80 watts. So I think that would be with a 0.1 coil to get 80 watts. The coils they provide are 0.2 ohm coils. For this tank, it's the Elo Duro, and it's got this funky looking acrylic tank. It also comes with a straight glass, A10 drip tip with the O-rings top fill, 5.5 ml of e-liquid with this bubble glass. So let's not waste any time. Let's dive down. I'll show you guys the kit, the ins and outs, their new coils. Wait till you guys see these coils. We'll come back, we'll vape it, and I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the iJust. 21700. And here's the packaging. The iJust 21700 by Eleaf comes in. Inside the packaging, you get a user manual for your iJust 21700 and for the Elo Duro tank. You also get some spare O rings and gaskets for the tank, 18650 battery adapter, and a USB charging cable. A spare coil for the tank and your straight glass, which makes it a 2ml tank. First thing we'll look at is the tank here. We have the Elo Duro tank. Check out that bubble glass that's on there. Never seen that shape before. 25 millimeter. Airflow control does have a stopper. Perfect tension on the airflow. There's the bottom of the tank. Elo Duro E-Leaf. Top we got a drip tip. Acrylic drip tip. Drip tip. Talking like talk, please. A10 style with the O-rings on the drip tip, but not inside here. We do have a top fill. If you look right here, I think that's it. Yes, that's a symbol. Push forward and you fill. This tank over here, 5.5 mLs of e-liquid. And with that straight glass I showed you guys, it'll be a 2 ml e-liquid. Obviously with the straight glass, it will be glass. This is an acrylic bubble uh, tank, we're gonna call it. Yeah, we'll call it a bubble tank. So I'll pop this off and you can see there. Acrylic seems to be the same material as the drip tip. And here's an up close look at the coil provided. You're gonna get two of the same exact coils. They're both the HWM2, 0.2 resistance, 40 to 90 watt. There's the bottom of the coil. There's your openings for your cotton feeds. And there is the actual coil head. And look at that, huh? Isn't that crazy? You have a coil it's like a, a net coil, I guess, whatever you want to call that, like a honeycomb mesh style. And then if you look at the center, got the same exact thing going on on it. That is crazy. Yeah, look at that. That's, that's just nuts. They're calling this like an anti-spitback feature or anti-leak feature of some sort. That is pretty cool. And here's the other coil. This is the spare coil provided. When I said they're both the same, I meant the resistance, not the actual mesh part. So you guys could see the inside of this one. Same situation going on, but this one's got the, the traditional mesh style. And the same thing on that centerpiece. Yeah, so they're saying that it's basically the new leak-proof and self-cleaning technology of two coils. Yeah, I... <laughs> So I don't know how the self-cleaning part happens with this, but anyway, time will tell. So what I'll do first is use some liquid. I got some Drip Fiends Blackberry Milk. And what I'll do here is I'm just gonna saturate that coil just to get it started. That's good enough right there. It is leak proof, so I threw just a little extra as you could see there. All right, so it should be no problem. Grab our top piece, screw that on. All right, now that I've done that, we'll grab our top fill section. There we go. Push open and fill. 
Now that I've got it filled, I'm just gonna leave it on the side, let that coil saturate. Let's check out the mod. And here is the new E-Leaf iJust 21700. Right off the bat, just the looks, the engravings on it. Really love the way it looks. It says iJust 21700, USB charge port, our battery cap, our top here, 25 millimeter. All right, that's what the measurement is on this. So up to a 25 millimeter with this device. We're gonna check that 510. See if there's any action. Yep, we do have springiness in there. Nice firm spring. So it is spring loaded on there. To get in the inside of this, you're simply just gonna turn this. And they're gonna be selling this kit in different versions. You could get it with a battery or without a battery. I think it's like a $5 difference in price. There's your negative contact. Looks to be gold plated. And they, this one here is the kit with the battery. And this is one of them Avatar batteries. They're 21700s. And you see there's a sticker on the bottom. And this is for safety, obviously, because of it being transported. There's the inside. It'll tell you positive. And you can see our fire button here. You can actually see, if you look on the inside right over here, the actual mechanism. You can see it moving in there. Pretty cool. So first thing you'll do here is, obviously, you're going to remove this piece here little sticker there we go oh there you go just flew right off all right sticker is removed this will go positive down now if you want to you could use your own 21 700s in here i for me per personally i like using the 40t samsung 40ts for something like this all right we'll screw this in together press the fire button we'll see a little light activate all right, so it is powered on. So to power on the device, you're gonna click this fire button five times. You'll see a little light flash right there. Now, fire it, you'll see on this side, little light go on, where is it? All right, so it's a little bright now, you can't see it, but it is green. So basically what that's telling me is that green is 100% to 60%. If that light turns orange, it's 59% to 30%. If it turns blue, that's 29 to 10%. And then when it turns red, you're below 10% for battery life. So me personally, if you see it hit blue, charge it, swap out the battery, put in a new battery. And here's the rainbow version that they also sent me. It's gonna come in a bunch of different colors. They're gonna have, I think all together, like five or six colors, but there you go. The rainbow version comes with this green, like a lime green bubble glass. Yeah, it looks a little funky. That's crazy looking. I prefer the stainless one. This looks much cleaner. So there you go. The iJust 21700 kit by Eleaf. Let's go back out on top. Let's vape on it. And I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it. The up close. iJust 21700 Eleaf. Mike, your thoughts? Hmm, not much to complain with this. Not much. One thing I do have... To complain, this is more of a subjective con, is the glass that, I just, I don't know. To some people, they might not like the idea that it's an acrylic, I, I call it glass, but you guys know what I mean, right? Tank part, it's acrylic, so might be prone to cracking. Yeah, citrusy liquids will crack your plastic tanks. Not sure if how this one, I don't vape citrusy liquids. They have citrus in them, so not sure how long a tank like this would last. But they do give you the straight glass, a regular glass. All right, but it's only a 2 ml capacity with that straight glass. And also, the drip tip on here, it's a nice, comfortable drip tip. No issues with it. Makes it look a little weird. It's a little bit on the taller side, but that's another subjective thing about it. Other than that, I mean, I don't know where do I start. Where do I complain on this? The mod itself is... It does what it's supposed to do. It's a 21700. It sits in there nice and solid. You have no rattling. Beautiful fire button. That clicky, it's a nice click of a fire button on here, which is a big pro. The threading on here, not too bad. Not too bad threading to change out the battery. A big pro on it is obviously it's a 21700 kit. So that's, I think, in my opinion, the biggest pro of this kit is the that you could swap out the batteries and use your own batteries. Whether you have 21700s, 2700s, or you're a stickler for your 18650s, 
you could use them in this device. Now, let's talk about the coils. Did you guys see that in the up and close? If you just like skipped around and missed it, go back. Go look at the coil heads. Have you guys ever seen that done before? We're talking about a mesh coil and then a centerpiece with mesh wrap, wrapped around that with cotton. Whoa, what's going on there? Yeah, that is just crazy with this. Uh, I don't, I never seen that before. Hey, <laughs> as time goes on, we're just going to see more and more crazy stuff. But people are going to ask, Mike, how's the airflow with it? How's the flavor with it? Yeah, you guys want to know, right? Take a listen. Fully open. Pretty good. Not bad. Close it off a quarter of the way. Airflow felt the same. Halfway. I like it halfway. Pretty good. Not bad. Does it keep up, Mike? That's a good question. Let's put it at halfway and we'll do the chain vape part. We'll fast forward it while we're chain vaping. Let's do it. No problems. Keeps up perfectly. Flavor is pretty good on this. Flavor rating. What should I give it? Flavor rating out of a 1 to 10. Got the blackberry milk. I know how that tastes. Probably an 8. Yeah, an 8 out of 10 for flavor. All right? It's not the best I've had. It's not like your Horizon Tech Tanks or your like Freemax Tanks, but it's got pretty good flavor. Now, they claim that it's this coil, obviously it's anti, it's, it won't leak on you. And self-cleaning, uh, I don't know what that means. Maybe that means, for example, wasn't the UL crown same thing? The coil kind of reminds me of UL's coil. Then they have that piece in the middle. And then they had that thing where they said that uh, anti-leak. And it recycles any liquid that goes in the bottom somehow. Yeah. So it might be the same thing. Maybe they're following the steps of what UL has been doing with their coils. But they did a kind of something a little different with this one. But all in all, not bad. It's an eye just kit. This is going to benefit people that love their tube mods. And it's a good performer. I do recommend this one for people that love their tube mod devices. They will enjoy this one. So... Price on this, it's going to be around the $40 range. Me personally, if you already have 21700 batteries, I would get it without the battery. I mean, this battery isn't the greatest battery in my opinion. Better off using like a Samsung 40T. That's what I recommend for this inside here. But if you've never had a 21700 battery and you want to get it with the battery, then go for it. You'll be fine. But I wouldn't use that battery if you have mechanical mods or if you're going to use it in the future on a mechanical mod. I do not recommend the battery that's in here on a mechanical mod. For something like a regulated mod, this here does have a chip. It does have safety features and all that built in. You should be fine. Colors that this is going to release in, it's going to be black, purple, red, silver, and the rainbow one that you saw during the up and close. All right, that's it. I think I pretty much covered everything. Down below, let me know in the comments section, what do you guys think? Have you guys had it in the past, the original iJust? And is this something you would consider buying? Not more for the tank, more of a, a tube mod that's 21700 where you could put your own tanks on top, whether it's an RTA or a different sub ohm tank or maybe even an RDA. Why not? It fires down to a 0.1. All right, so in the description below, no links to none of these products. Not allowed. It is YouTube policy. Just my links down below, as always. That's it. I'm done. Thank you, and remember... Bom, Nathan.